Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on what time you are watching this video. This is our first iMedia video lesson. Okay, before we start, just to go through the instructions, you are going to need to take notes, so you do need to grab yourself a piece of paper and a pen. You may need to draw diagrams, okay, so you could want a pencil or possibly grab some colouring pencils. I will ask you to pause the video while you complete a task. You must keep your notes safe because you'll use them as a revision aid for the exam next year. And you also need to, once you've completed the lesson, upload a photograph of your notes to either the assignment on Teams or if you're struggling with Teams, you can email the photos of your completed notes to jconnolly at thegarabaldyschool.co.uk. And then what I'll do is I will mark them. You must remember to do this each week. That's it's important so I can track how you are getting on with the work. Okay, so what I'd like to do on your piece of paper is write the title, okay, which is to understand how a primary and secondary research links to a target audience. And I'd also like you to write today's date. Okay, so the hot question we're going to be looking at over this lesson is what is primary and secondary research? Okay, now you should already have an idea of what primary and secondary content is because we've kind of looked at it when we did our um, prepping for the um, creating the product. Okay, so a primary source is something you've created yourself and a secondary source is something that somebody else has created okay now remember we're not looking at sources today we're looking at research okay so we'll have a look at what the difference is and how they link okay so as always with these lessons what I'm going to do is going to pause the video or ask you to pause the video and I'd like you to have a go at answering the following questions. Now, just remember the last lesson you should have completed should have been the health and safety lesson. OK, so you should be able to answer the question. What is the difference between a location Reese? Sorry, a location recce. OK, and a risk assessment. OK, so if you just pause the video and just complete the tasks. OK, so the first question was. What is the difference between a location recce, okay, a location visit, and a risk assessment? So what you should have said is a location recce is where you actually go out to inspect, OK, a location where you're going to be filming. OK, so for example, if we were filming um, a classic TV show at Chat Chatsworth House, we'd go out as a film crew or the director would go out to Chatsworth House before the actors and the cameramen and the audio crew turned up, OK, to assess what the situation was going to be like, what did they need to take into account from health and safety point of view, what they need to take into account from a production point of view. Okay. Whereas a risk assessment is where you actually analyse and evaluate all the possible risks that could happen when you complete the scene. So you need to look at, at the um, equipment you're going to use, you need to look at the different stunts you're going to deploy, the different um, types of location scenes you're going to use, okay? And you'd need to make sure that you had all of these risk assessed, okay? And in this day and age, it's very important to do it properly because if you make a mistake, okay, you can end up costing you a lot of money when you get sued, okay? 
Now, it says on the next question, what is a primary source when conducting research? Okay, so what is the primary source when conducting research? So I would really suggest that you make a note of these. Okay, so when we're talking about primary research, primary research is any type of research that you collect yourself. So like whereas a primary source is any source you create yourself, Primary research is any research that you collect yourself. So an example of it could include if you carry out a survey or you interview somebody, okay, you sit with them and interview them. It could be where you go and observe something, okay? Or it could be if you have a focus meeting with your target audience. So if you're designing a magazine for a, um, a, a, a new teenage magazine, you might get a group of teenagers in um, and ask them what their expectations would be. Okay, now the second part describes secondary research. That's where you go and look at existing examples. So, for example, if you were going to be creating a teenage magazine, you'd go and have a look at some existing teenage magazines, or you could go and look at existing teenage websites or similar TV shows that teenagers would watch, movies, etc. Okay, so if you can just pause this now and make a note of these because you will need them for later on. Okay. So we also had an exam style question. So a company wants to use a picture of Saturn belonging to NASA for a book cover. Describe what steps must be taken so these images can be used. Well, what you need to do first of all is to contact NASA to ask them permission to use the image, okay, as they will own the copyright. Now, if they reply back and say you can use it, you can, that's fine, okay. If you, they reply back and say you can't use it, you'll need to find another image because they ultimately own that image. They own the rights to it. And if you were to use it without their permission, they would be able to sue you. Okay. And then the final question, can you recall what does TM stand for when it's next to a brand? Okay. It stands for trademark. Okay. So they have registered that as their trademark. And if you were to use it without their permission, again, they can sue you for copyright theft. Okay. So let's have a quick look at some past exam questions that tie around um, primary and secondary research. So the computer game is based around a character collecting coins and logos that can be used to upgrade the character's bike with existing and futuristic add-ons. All the upgrading is done in the game Bike Shop. Identify one electronic source of information where you could research about bikes. Okay, so if we think about that one, you could be talking about a website. So you could go on a website that sells bikes. Okay, you could go on a website which is a hobbyist website where they review, discuss different types of bikes. Okay. Um, and explain what primary research you would carry out to help you research about bikes and their upgrades. Well, you could carry out a questionnaire, or you could, if you wished, have a focus group about people who are interested in bikes okay and find out what sorts of things what sort of upgrades would they like to include if they were to access the game and then the final question is describe what is meant by a secondary source well we have already discussed this earlier on a secondary source is a source that has been created by somebody else Okay, 
So, our surface learning objective for this lesson is to be able to define the meaning of primary and secondary research. Okay, our deep learning objective for this lesson is to explain how you would apply research to a media product and apply this to a variety of exam questions. Okay, it's all about the grade. Do you know what grade you started at? Okay, you should all have an idea of what your target grade is. Okay, just remember if your target grade is a level two pass. That equates to a C. If your target grade is a level two merit, that equates to a B. A level two distinction is an A, and a level two distinction star is an A star. Or if we put it into new money, a C is a five, a B is a six, an A is a seven, and an A star would be an eight. Okay. Apple released the iPhone in 2007. They described it as having a music center, the internet, and a phone. But several leading manufacturers already had phones on the market, including Samsung, who had in car phones as early as 1985. Why do you feel a Apple waited so long to bring out the perfect phone? Okay, so if you want to write a pause the video and write an answer for that. Apple said that they needed to conduct primary research on what exactly their customers wanted before they, re they released the iPhone. So they wanted to make sure that they created a product that people wanted and obviously would sell well. Okay, so what I would like you to do now is I would like you to make a note of the following. Okay, so what is primary research? This is what the specification, the exam specification says. Primary research involves gathering new data that has not been collected before. So, for example, surveys using questionnaires or interviews with groups of people in a focus group. A primary source of information taped directly from the original source. This type of source is the most reliable form of as it is a first-hand account. So you find it out actually from the target audience that you're going to be creating your product for. Okay, so can you make a note of that? Just pause the video. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do a little task where you're going to conduct your own primary research. Okay. So. What I'd like you to do is I would like you to create a questionnaire and I would like you to go and ask people in your household. Okay, so what you could do is you can think about, okay, because obviously we're going to struggle to do the R081 course, but you could think about actually doing a questionnaire about the music everyone in your house likes. You could think about doing a questionnaire on the sports that everyone in your house likes. Okay, it only needs to be really simple. Okay, so if we look at the example, what do you like most about the R081 course so far? I love the teaching, but Mr. Conley is the best. How old are you? 15. What gender are you? Female. What ethnicity are you? White. What do you think could be improved in the R081 course? Okay. So if you could come up with a very basic questionnaire, no more than five questions, and then go and carry it out on your family or the people who live in your household.
Okay, if you just pause the video and complete that task. What I'd like you to do using the questionnaires that you've just completed, I would like you to summarize your findings in a short paragraph. So for example, I found out that the, the, the music that people most like to live, listen to in my household was meatloaf. I found out that the favorite football team that people followed in my house was Manchester United, although Leeds came a close second. Okay, so if you could just write a short paragraph just summarizing what you found out from your questionnaire. Okay, so what we're going to do now, a nice little task here, is we are going to do a spot assessment. Okay, so I'm going to put some questions on your screen and you're going to have six minutes to answer them. Okay. There you go, you've got six minutes now to answer the question. Please write your answers down on your sheet.
Okay. okay, so the first question. Okay, the magazine will be promoted in a number of audio or visual adverts on the internet. So, question A identify the most appropriate pre production document other than a script for planning the audio or visual adverts. Okay, the answer should have been okay, a storyboard. Okay, the next question. State three items that could be included on this document. Okay, so you could have had scene number, camera angle, the drawing of a scene, scene content. You could have had scene lighting. Sorry, scene setting. You could have had light source. You could have had audio effect. You could have had timings. And you could have had text. Now, each of those points was worth a mark up to a maximum of three. Okay, and the final point, a script is required for the audio visual advert, state two uses of a script. Okay, so to provide lines for people, so it could be the actor narrator in the advert, to give directions to the actors, and to provide the film crew with instructions. Okay, so give yourself a mark out of six. If you got six out of six, well done. Okay, and if you got a lower score, try and see where you got it wrong. Okay, remember, the more marks you get, the higher the grade you get. Okay, and I'll just put that up so you can just check your answers. Okay, so. What we're going to do now is we're going to do another task. So you're about to launch a new boy band onto the market. And you've been asked to conduct primary research with an audience of 12 to 16 year olds. Okay. So what I would like you to do is you're going to, first of all, create a mind map. What sort of things do you need to know from the audience? Okay, so... Remember, construct your mind map properly. You'll need your center node. You'll need your nodes and your sub nodes and connect them up with branches. Okay. And then once you've created your mind map, what I would like you to then do is I would like you to write up the questions you would ask the audience using what you, what you noted down in your mind map. So in order to create the perfect boy band, what two questions might you ask the boy band itself? Okay, now if you don't want to do a boy band, you can do another band. Okay, it doesn't necessarily need to be a boy band. Okay, so I'm going to pause the video while you do that task. Okay, moving on. Okay, so our surface learning outcome is to define the meaning of primary and secondary research. Okay, and our deep learning objective is to explain how you'd apply research to a media product and then apply it to a variety of exam questions. Now, if you just rewind the video when we looked at the past exam questions, okay, just before you do that, just make a note of the current time. Um, can you go back and answer one of the past exam questions using what we've learned so far? Okay, so in this next part, we need to be able to define secondary research. Okay, so bear in mind primary research is research you create yourself whether it be through a questionnaire or a focus group secondary research is a secondary source is information on a topic that originally appeared elsewhere first this data can be used to back up research from a primary source 
Secondary sources include websites, books, stats, videos, TV, documentaries, etc. Sometimes secondary sources can be unreliable as they might be biased and contain opinions. Can you make a note of that, please? Okay, so we're now going to do a task. Okay, so we're going to look at documentary secondary research. So J.K. Rowling's former husband, Channel 5, are producing a new documentary on the Harry Potter author's original husband before she shot to fame, but they have been declined an interview with him and Rowling herself. You now need to conduct secondary research into her original husband. What was his name? So you're going to have to go on the internet. Where might he live? Why did they split up? How long were they married for? Where did they meet? What about their daughter? What can you find out? How many secondary sources can you confirm this with? Okay, so remember, don't just get the information from one source, such as Wikipedia. Can you use multiple sources? Okay, and then on a scale of one to five, five being the best and one being the worst, how reliable do you feel the information you have gathered actually is? Okay, it's very relevant with uh, what's going on in the news at the moment. How might primary research help? Okay, so just pause the video and complete that task. Okay, so our outcomes, we should now be able to define the meaning of primary and secondary research. So you should be able to describe what is meant by a secondary source. What's a secondary source? It's a source of information that's been created by somebody else. Okay, and our deep learning outcome, you should be able to now explain how you would apply research to a media product. And you should be able to apply this to a variety of exam questions. So like the previous task, I would like you to now pause this video, go back to where we went through the past exam questions, and just have a look to see if you can answer any of them now. Can you answer more than one? Okay. So. Primary is using the original source, source. Secondary is using source created by others. A primary source might be an interview. A secondary source might be taken from a website. And the final question, it would be useful to conduct an interview with JK Rowling herself or the ex-husband directly so you know that the information you're using is accurate. Okay. What I would now like you to do is have a go at answering the following question. Okay. Now that we've gone through the lesson, you should have enough to be able to answer this completely. Okay, and to hopefully answer both of the questions.
Okay, if anything in this lesson has not made sense, please do email me to get in touch. I hope you've enjoyed this. Okay, and I will see you next week for the next lesson. I hope you're all safe and well. Goodbye.